back to the Panic Ink Showcase Base Project. Uh, today we are going to be installing our tuners on the Solo Neck before we get ready to reattach it to the base. Uh, the tuners we're using are from Grover, world's finest machine heads. Uh, these are the Titan 145A, um, and these are black, and they are left-handed because they're going on a reverse headstock or left-handed headstock. Um, so, let's get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we'll pop these guys in the holes. So that we can get the ferrules, the bushing that actually holds these things centered into the hole, holds the tuner centered into the hole. They are 19 millimeter nuts. And what we want to do is basically just take them, snug them down to begin with, have our washer and our bushing, and tighten it, snug it down. All right, now I take a 19 millimeter socket and just firm those up a little bit. We don't want to crank it all the way down. We're not trying to tighten it to death. We just want to snug it up. Um, and then from here, we are going to get our straight edge and line everything up these tuners have a flat side here that we can use push the straight edge firm against them <coughs> have a look at it little bit and now we have all the machine heads straight evenly spaced um, with this one side here flushed up on a 90 degree with our straight edge Next, we have some screws that screw these down. These little screws, if you are in any guitar building groups on Facebook, I see more posts about these little screws getting snapped off than anything else because people don't properly take the steps to install them right. First things first, have a 16th inch drill bit. We're going to pre-drill all eight of these holes. You 
you don't want to drill through the headstock. So you can use a piece of tape to make a drill stop or whatever. Um, again, I'm freehanding this. I've done it quite a lot. So I have a feel for it, but if you don't, if it's your first time doing it, if you're not confident in your ability to stop it before you go all the way through the headstock, use a piece of tape or something to stop the bit. Now, this is a number one screwdriver tip. It's not a number two. Number two is probably the most common this is a number one. This is a small tip that is made for a made for this screw so that it doesn't strip it out. Use the right size screwdriver for the screw you're using. This is some liquid dish soap. Take your screws. Coat it with a little bit of soap. That will lubricate the threads. Then when you thread it in to a pre-drilled hole with lubricated threads, thread it to Screw it in until it's snug. You're not trying to kill it. Then you don't run the risk of snapping the head off. Now, once you have all your screws in, you can come back and we'll, again, we're not cranking this thing down super, super tight. Just snug it up until you get a little bit of resistance. And there you have it. Our Grover machine heads are installed. And now the neck is ready to mount on back on the base. Um, stay tuned for more videos and more updates on the continuation of this process of building the Panic Inc. Showcase Base Version 1. Um, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our social media, give us some likes on there. All the links are in the description, as well as the link to Grover Musical Products, where you can get the world's finest machine heads. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.